everyone, this is Red Ring, and today I'll be doing a foreign disc video on the Wii. As you can see here, this is a launch metal Wii I found on eBay, and surprisingly enough, is free of defects. And why say this? Well, I believe the previous owner didn't really like it, and well, I had no choice but to sell it online. So yeah, here we are, a foreign disc video on the Wii. Now let's get started. Here are the discs I'll be trying to show that it works. We got Kirby's Return to Dreamland for the Wii. All right, let me just get to the disc channel. And it should be loading right up. Come on, work. Wait. Oh, there it is. So, yep, Wii games will work, but I'll not be launching the game since I did not want to waste time showing footage. Alright, push it right here. Next up we have a GameCube game, Super Mario Sunshine. I do see the GameCube disc illustration on the right, so I should expect it to work. Okay. And there you go, GameCube games work. Now before anyone says anything, GameCube games, they only work on the launch model of the Wii. If you have like a family edition or Wii Mini, I hate to say this, but unfortunately, GameCube games will not support on those models. But anyway, here's a Wii U game, Nintendo Land. Let's see if we get anything. Uh oh. Okay, it's not supposed to do this. Could be damaging the disc. Ah! It just crashed my Wii. Not good. So, yeah, Wii U games, it'll just crash your Wii. Probably because the disc is in Blu-ray format. Well, I've seen some people try to put a Blu-ray disc into their Wii, and it always ends in their systems crashing instantly. Let me just restart it. Now moving on to an OG Xbox game, Lego Star Wars the video game. It does have a DVD video portion, but I'm aware that the Wii doesn't have any pl DVD playback capabilities just like the GameCube. And yep, it fails. So yep, OG Xbox games will not work. Here's a 360 game, uh, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Pretty sure it's gonna be the same as the OG Xbox game disc. And yep, I was right. So yeah, Xbox 360 games will not work. Here's an Xbox One game, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I'm aware it's in Blu-ray format, so it's likely going to crash my Wii again. And yep, it's going to. Oh no, no, it's gonna crash! And it just did! Huh! So yeah. Xbox One games, they'll also crash your Wii, so, yeah. Let me just restart it real quick. Alright, here's a Series X game, Microsoft's Flight Simulator. And it's gonna crash once more. No. Uh 
Ah, oh, that's just great. Series X games, they'll do the same like the other Blu-ray discs. I'm gonna have to reset it. Again. Alright, now we got a PS1 game, Crash Team Racing. It's basically a ripoff from the Mario Kart series with characters from the Crash Bandicoot franchise. And it doesn't read it. So yeah, PS1 games will not work. Here's a PS2 game, Kingdom Hearts. I'm very familiar with this particular franchise as the characters are inspired by the Final Fantasy series. Which also incorporates uh, Disney themes. And doesn't read it. So, yep, PS2 games will not work. Here is a PS3 game, Little Big Planet. And it's doing the same thing. Gonna crash. Ugh, whatever. PS3 games, they'll do the same like the other Blu-ray discs. Let's just reset it. Okay. Um, Alright, here's a PS4 game, Sonic Colors Ultimate. And it's making the same noise as the other Blu-rays. I know it's gonna do it. I know it. Oh, yep, called it. Take you out. So yeah, PS4 games will do the same like the other Blu-ray discs. So yeah. We just reset it. Alright, now back to the discs. Alright, here's a PS5 game, uh, MLB The Show 22. One of my favorite sports video games. I am personally an Angels fan because I regret that Mr. Otani is one of the best players of all time. Oh no. Here we go again. Ah, oh, darn it. So, yep. PS5 games, they'll just do the same thing like the other Blu ray discs. And reset it. Alright, moving on to home media, we got a music CD with 80s and 90s disco. Pretty sure it also lacks audio CD functionality. And, yep, it does. So, yep. Music CDs will not work. Next up, we got the Lego Movie on DVD. It could do the same thing as the OG Xbox and the Xbox 360 discs since it's also a DVD video. And, yep, I was right. DVDs will not work. Then... Next up, we got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse on Blu-ray. Uh, 
Uh oh. I know it's going to do it. I know it's going to. And it did. So, yep. Blu ray movies. They'll crash your Wii instantly. I'm gonna have to restart it again. Next up, we got uh, Zootopia on 3D Blu ray. Wait a minute. Oh. Here we go again. And that does it. So, yep. 3D Blu-rays will crash your Wii as well. Let's restart it. Right. Next up is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings on 4K Blu-ray. Don't really watch it because it's PG-13, but I'm just doing this for fun. Oh! It's going to crash. Again. And yep, errors occurred. So yeah, 4K Blu-rays will simply crash your Wii. Um, start it. All right, now moving on to computer software, we have Wheel of Fortune 2 for PC. I remember playing this back in school, and it was a really fun game. I've also played the first Wheel of Fortune, but I regret that the second one is better. And it doesn't read it. So, yep, PC games will not work. Here's Toshiba Express me to play Recovery CD. I actually recall opening it during one of my other foreign disk videos, and it was just Linux files and no Windows installer. And nope. So yeah, CD-ROMs do not work. Here's a Windows 10 installation DVD. My brother bought this so that he could complete his new custom computer, which was like years ago, and to be honest, it was a lot of hard work for him. And nothing. So yes, DVD-ROMs do not work. And finally, here's a Blu-ray utility, the THX Calibrator Disc. It's basically a tool used during home theater setup. It does test like the sound and video so that the level of experience is at good quality. And it sounds like it's going to crash again. Oh boy. And it did. So, yep, the disc will crash your Wii. And alright, everyone, that'll be it for today's foreign disc video. See you again for another one.